Good morning, spastics, one and all. Remember Sade? Your love is king. I don't know the next line. And what's the other one? Smooth operator. Yeah, lovely songs. What's the other one? The sweetest taboo. <laughs> Just gorgeous songs. Underrated in many ways. What a beautiful soul voice. Sade, ladies and gentlemen, whose eyes seem to get further apart the more you look at this picture. Anyway, I just was listening to Sade this morning. I thought, this is beautiful. Give it a go. If you don't know Sade, check it out. And if you do, revisit it. This infomercial has not been sponsored by Sade. However, I've got a beautiful witch to listen to here. Hi guys, it's me, Jenna, from the White Witch Parlor, and today I want to discuss pendulums. And She's beautiful, so I will put up with her witchiness. And the magic of pendulums and how we can use them to better our lives and help guide us with our intuition, because pendulums actually don't work... <laughs> I mean, that's all right, in fairness. She's just she's just cruising on her looks here. Pendulums don't work. With anything spooky or no. scary, it actually works with your subconscious mind. Oh, right. Have you got some kind of evidence? Are you going to explain that process, or are you just going to chuck that outlier? Outlier? You're an outlier! And with that, that means it works with you asking questions and you giving yourself answers that you already know. <laughs> Uh, one, they don't work. Two, it's going to give you answers you already know. It's kind of weird. I like that about psychics, like mediums as well, people who speak with the dead, and they're always giving you really dull information that people already know because they have to prove it. Um, no, he's coming through and he's saying, he's saying that you like your knitting. You like your knitting. Oh, yeah, I do like my knitting. Hey, what? How helpful is that? You, you already know that. Anyway, speak. But they're deep. Embedded, embedded within so um, you start with simple questions when you get a pendulum to see its personality because pendulums can get a personality but generally you can <laughs> pendulums can get a personality I bet my one would be well angry you go like that and it starts going no fuck you <laughs> think yes up and down for yes or side to side for no like it's almost like she's describing wanking technique. Oh, look at her face there. Brr. Shaking your head yes or no. Um, you would start with a simple question. Like for me, I would say, am I a girl? I would hold... <laughs> and, if, and if your pendulum's personality happens to be that of a social justice warrior, it's going to go, no, you're caught up in those old binaries. You're not a girl. You're a Z. Hold the pendulum steady in the middle. Not so steady that it's not moving though, because otherwise it's not going to move. So make sure you rock it backwards and forwards. We'll be keeping an eye on her knuckles here, so you can see just how much movement is required to give the illusion of pendulama. And once it's steady, it's working with your own electrical pulses from your mind. And yeah, it is. Yeah, it's called your brain communicating with your hand and telling you to move it. And it's working through your hand and channeling down the crystal. No, just moving down the crystal. There's no channeling. There's no unconscious. You're asking yourself a question that you yourself said you already know the answer to. And then you will swing the aforementioned penduli to confirm your mad hippie bias. So you want to keep your arm steady. I like to rest my arm on a surface to prevent me from wobbling around too much. Wanking advice. Uh, the best thing for you to do is stay as steady as you can. <laughs> you ask a simple question like, am I a girl? And you're going to watch it start to spin on its own. And it's going to go in a circular motion until... <laughs> look at the knuckles. Look at look how much they're moving. <laughs> ...finds its answer that I subconsciously already know. And almost immediately it goes to yes. Side to side on this mat that I'm using is a yes. They should use this with social justice, actually. I mean, if people come along giving it the old gender fluid, uber queer, gay trauma, whatever it is, nutoire, just get the pendulum out. No, you're a girl. Look. So it's immediately going to that, and then it's going to go back into a circle motion until I ask my next question. So I could say, do I live in the forest? And it's going to go again to the answer that I subconsciously know. And again, it says yes. She lives now, in can... the forest. What an amazing witch. Oh, she's all beautiful, barefoot, like 
trampling through the fresh grass, letting the finest new virgin dew gently cleanse her witchy paws. Say, do I own a truck? I hope not, because all of a sudden you'll be a bit beefy. And it's going to start spinning in a circle again. And you... <laughs> Look how much her hand's moving. We'll see it go to almost immediately it's going to a no, because I do not own a truck. So those are simple little things you can do to test the personality of your pendulum. <laughs> uh, sometimes you might something get swaying side to side, and that's like a maybe, or maybe you're not very clear or specific on what it is you're trying to ask. No, you're not very clear or specific on what you're trying to answer. Um, some elements of the pendulum is... I would listen to this woman talk all evening just because she's hot. And that's a weird truth of uh, reality. If she was like, ah, yeah, ah, I'd be like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, drop it out, love. But yeah, no, carry on, carry on. <laughs> is in fact the pendulum, which can be made of uh, any kind of crystal. You can use different crystals for different purposes. Crystal meth is a good one. So I have an amethyst here. It works with the third eye subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They just chuck this out here. This is amethyst. It works with the third eye uh, unconscious. Deeper levels of awareness. Deeper levels of awareness. I like using amethyst for that. I also actually offer these on my website. Yeah. ka -ching! Everywhere you find a hippie, somewhere near there's a wallet and it's hungry for your dollars. But this one's a black tourmaline, so if you're working with any ritual work, you if you need protection, guidance, uh, black tourmaline's really, really good for that. Um, but there's so many things you can use. You can also use necklaces or a simple needle with a thread attached to it. Bit of old chewing gum on a bit of dental floss. That's what I use. Anything that has kind of a weight to a bottom. It <laughs> like a really big fat person. Put a noose around their neck and swing them out of your to upstairs window. It doesn't need to be a crystal. Again, this is working with your electrical pulses coming. <laughs> I mean, it is. But not in the way she means. It's just your head telling your hand to move the fucking crystal. From your subconscious mind. No, conscious. So when you hold the, the pendulum, you're holding it and the chain is picking up all the activity and energy coming from your body. Oh, AKA movement coming from your hand. And you hold it from the end of the pendulum. It's now wanking advice. That is often referred to as the lob. Or glands. Or, um... <laughs> lob. <laughs> I didn't need to say glands. Lob's even better. You hold it by the lob on. The, the tip. And <laughs> I'm 44, but tip makes me laugh. Sometimes it can have, like, a charm. <laughs> Sometimes it might have a little bead on it. Sometimes. Oh, speaking about having a little bead on your penis, have you seen those prisoners that have um, pearls sewn into the skin along the shaft of their penis? I, I got a friend who does that. And I, I, I was going to have it for a while that you can have like a row of pearls along the shaft of your penis underneath. But she said that a lot of the time they get infected and your penis falls off, itch. Sometimes it may not have anything other than a ring. <laughs> Seemed a little bit of a um, risk, really, just to have a few pearls under your cock skin. So you just want to always hold it from the end. If you <laughs> I know that, darling. Hold it from the middle or if you have a short chain... You might notice it might swing differently because you're you're almost getting a distraction from holding the end here. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, more obvious that you're moving it. So lengthen the length of the shaft. You always hold it from the end. And so, again, you can make your own pendulum, too. It doesn't necessarily need to be a crystal. Crystals just help work with us in a different dimension. Um, you can use a kinder egg. So with the pendulum mats, it's something also you can make or you don't need a mat at all. You can literally hold your pendulum, get to know if which direction is yes or no, and work from there. You can create your own with a chalkboard. You can I like her mat though. Look, she's got a scone sitting on it there. You <laughs> can paint a little surface of a wood piece. Make some spirals, put some pictures of the Aztecs. You know what hippies are like, just fucking anything. Um, like a wood slab. You can paint anything, any kind of surface. Take we get it! A marker take a sheet of paper you can print something uh, there's so many ways to do that you can steal the Turing shroud that's a good one it's got powerful energies just be crafty you little witches oh my gosh I was coming 
check this out. Try not to come. Uh, there's so many ways to do that. Just be crafty, you little witches. <laughs> Spunked. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I like uh, surrounding... Oh, she touched the tips of them. My pendulum mats or any of my divinational work with... Crystal, crystal, crystal. scone. Because it enhances all my subconscious thoughts in my own energy, my own... What? Why does it? Explain at least. ...vibrations so that I push away all distractions and I can really focus on what it is I'm trying to gain from this spiritual insight. Do I own a truck? Um, this is really good when you're meditating or actually when you're awakening and you're going through a whole spiritual growth. If you really, really, really feel you need that good, um, like, that good... Good. Channeling energy and that good. Good. Guidance. Right. You need to work with pendulums because. She's struggling a bit here, I think. Because you'll find that it helps uh, guide you uh, easier and further. Um, sorry, I'm probably channeling something right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> she got just was gibbering and she blamed it on the accidental channeling. I'm oh, sorry, I'm probably channeling something right now. I'm going to use that excuse when I'm making videos and I start tripping over my words. Oh, oh sorry, I'm probably channeling something. <laughs> Amazing. That's why I'm stuttering. Oh, that's why you're stuttering, yeah. Not for any other reason. Uh, pendulums work. Penduli. Work really well when you're doing meditation work because it helps you to focus in on what it is you're trying to achieve out of this work. If you're trying, do I own a truck? To find a certain answer to a question, do I own a truck? You can also work with your angels and your spirit guides. <laughs> do these people? You can also work with your angels and your spirit guides. Can you really? Uh, you can ask them to help guide you through this and kind of bring their energy forward and help manifest. She's probably channeling. Sorry, lads. The answers to the questions you are seeking. Um, there's so many ways, too, that you can cleanse your um, pendulums. You can use sage. Uh, you can run them in wa running water. You <laughs> Amazing, going from sage, I mean, I've bathed in sage, it's a little bit dry, you come out smelling like a, <laughs> you come out smelling like a, <laughs> ratatouille, <laughs> and then from sage to running water, yeah, maybe just give it a wash. You can use salts, there's many different ways, and I always encourage you that when you get any kind of crystal, to put it between your legs and run around for a few days, to get it full of your sweat, the nature of your essence. In special, especially a pendulum because you're going to work with it. You want to hold it and carry it with you as soon as you get it, after you cleanse it and consecrate it. Let it absorb your energy so that you... <laughs> Put it in your front pocket for a few days until it's properly bollock warm. <laughs> you guys work in, in, in tune and in balance with each other. So when you get a pendulum, you carry it around for, say, a couple days for a week, keep it in your pocket, keep it... There you go. <laughs> it in your purse until you feel like it has your essence on it and when it does Ooh. excuse me is that pendulum got your essence on it then you'll notice that it works almost more immediately because you are more immediately putting that energy into it and you feel more connected to it so you're trusting more that it's going to work quickly with answering you and it's going to do i own a truck and it feel to you and your mind that you're getting more accurate answers to your questions. So um, that was my video on pendulum magic. Beautiful smile. Magic, and if I uh, have any que Ugly beliefs. questions, please email them to whitewitchparlor at gmail.com. Whitewitchparlor gmail.com. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I <laughs> yeah. I might be doing a part two on this video if you guys really like it. And if you need more information on pendulum magic and working with pendulum, you can also subs Pendulite. subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. And I hope to see you guys next week. Mwah. I love you all. Thank you. Um, yeah. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be nice. Oh, sorry. I'm getting confused. I was probably channeling something. Your love is king.